ocean. They've all written their books. The wind with its scattering of seeds, its steady erosion of terraced hills, histories carved in the gray faces of cliffs whose grief it transcribes into song. Rain with its poetry, quick rivulets or pucks that rattle on the roofs of our minds, and sunshine with its golden tails, honey in the mouth of heroes, warriors who blaze and die young. But the book of the ocean is the greatest and most neglected. It floats in shadows under rock shelves. It laps at the edges of dreams, a reminder of the deep dark into which we dive nightly, and a reminder of the moon that holds us and hurls us on the brink of wrinkled lands where once we staggered ashore trying to become human. It is written on wavy scrolls at the tide line. It is written as a crab on a dry desert rock. It is written in green and indigo, sometimes a wash. It is written to be studied from space or through the mask on a diver's face. Its comedy splashes our feet. Its tragedy rides in the currents of the night. Like it or not, we are turning the watermarked pages their words hissing in our ears with blood and with salt while the moon grows fat, then wanes to the sweetest sickle. Mm.